for Kilivi North. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Honorable Speaker, I would like to contribute to this uh, miscellaneous amendment uh, statute and uh, specifically focus on the Merchant Shipping Act. The amendment that is coming in is a dangerous amendment. Dangerous because it is unconstitutional. It is giving out the powers of this House to a CS. And on that basis, I think uh, it is becoming uh, dangerous for us to continue to entertain miscellaneous amendment act. Mr. Speaker, this, this amendment that is coming here is actually an attempt to privatize a government institution, an important government institu installation through the back door. We have a whole privatization bill uh, act in this country. We have an act, a full act on the, uh, uh, on the Merchant Shipping Act. But to bring this to give sweeping powers to a CS to set aside a whole law just because of certain interests is dangerous and should not be acceptable. And it flies in the face of the Constitution that uh, the, the powers to make laws in this country rest in the House, in this Parliament. Today we are giving an opportunity to our Cabinet Secretary to be a law-making uh, organ. Mr. Speaker, I think as we deliberate on this act and this law that is coming in, it is very important that we protect the mandate of the House and ensure that separation of, of, of powers is, is uh, preserved as preserved in the Constitution. Mr. Speaker, what is also worrying us is the attempt to try to give out, uh, dangerously because Kenya, power, Kenya Post Authority is the mandate of Kenya Post Authority to manage the port is being taken away through this amendment. And the danger is that uh, the CS can actually give the Kenya ports, in, the ports in this country to be managed by other entities apart from government. We know Kenya Post Authority has been making huge profits. They declared their profits, we have over 9 billion shillings. Today on the pressings, like you see, if we give out this bath, bath to another person to run it, we are going to make more money. But we know the shareholding that is coming in in the Kenya National Shipping Line. Now people are saying we are going to have more jobs. They are saying they are going to have more business. But we have seen the attempted takeover of uh, KAA or the airport in Nairobi by uh, a company that is already making losses. It is actually the same modus operandi to take away uh, an operation that is profitable in this country and give it to people that we know may not have even the experience to run. Yes, we would like our young people at the coast to have jobs. We would like the jobs created. But if we are going to run the new terminals under the current management, I think we are going to have more jobs created other than trying to throw away government entities from running posts in this country and give it to private entities. Mr. Speaker, sir, we would, I would like to suggest, and we will bring this at the committee stage, and request that this section be deleted so that we have a proper mechanism to privatize if we must privatize, but for which I think is a completely unnecessary. But to have privatization through a miscellaneous amendment bill and remove a whole act, it flies in the face of the Constitution. It is unacceptable, and we will not sit to watch the powers of the House being taken away by a miscellaneous amendment. Thank you, Speaker.